What is up, guys? Uh, Wonder Win here, and I bring you my fifth daily upload for this week. Going for seven. So far, I've been so good. I really like the response I got back. And um, if y'all want to comment more, I won't stop you. I promise. So, uh, this is a battle against Necro Stevo. This is Yu Yu battle. He he challenged me on Skype, and I'm like, cool. We never. Re I think we battled before. I don't really remember the battle. I remember it was probably Lord and Yu Yu. But uh, yep. He said, you battle? I'm like, great. I have 10 teams to choose for. <laughs> Let me choose one. I chose the uh, Agility Apollyon team. Um, I used this before. I got Spec Zapdos. Um, Frost last to get some spikes up. Scarf Minchow. It's pretty It's pretty standard. Um, except I'm using Curse Snorlax because I like that better than just regular Whirlwind Snorlax. Even though Whirlwind, you know, does come in handy a lot more than Curse. But whatever. It's It's my party. I can do whatever I want to. So, I'm going to start off with Min Chao. I can go for the high jump kick. I outspeed anything that he would have Scarf. Because I have a higher base speed. Except for, you know, Crobat. But, I go for the safe high jump kick. He goes in his Crobat, takes it. Because he resists it times four. Um, I don't want to take a Brave Bird if he wants to do it for, go for that. I go into my Glygar. He pretty much predicts that. And then, just taunts me. So, I can't do anything with that. So, now, my only attacking move is EQ. So, I go into my... Uh, zap those to just go for um a specs hp flying and it hits pretty much anything that he has on his team um it turns out i'm fast in his fly gun wasn't really expecting that i was hoping that he would over predict and not go for a stone edge if he had it even if he did i don't think it would kill because it's a fly gun and all i have to do is just keep him from getting his rocks up um so i am fast in the fly gun so i know it's not scarf and then he goes into his Nido King, and I'm going to go into my Snorlax. He predicts that and goes for the Earth Power. I was kind of half expecting to go for Ice Beam, just because I had to uh, uh, zap those out. Now, if I went for HP Flying again, <laughs> I would have taken out that Nido King. It would have been not bad. It would have been not bad at all. But it didn't happen. I go for the Curse on the on the switch in. He goes for the Foul Play to um, do some heavy damage. So I'm like, I don't want to set up too much, because apparently this Umbreon is a threat. So, I'm going to go into my Batman again. I know I can take the Fire Play if he wants to go for that, but he chooses to go for Wish, which is okay. Um, probably going to go in his Fire Gun, but I don't really care at the moment. I want my rocks up because I don't want I don't want his team getting in here for free anymore. Um, take some chip damage at least. And uh, But, unfortunately, his fly, uh, his fly Gun is at that amount of health where um, it's almost at full. I'm going to go for Toxic in case he wants to go for something that's not... Uh, U-turn and he goes in his Needle King. Now I went into Snowless last time, so I expected him to go for um, the Earth Power or Double Switch or something like that. But he does just go for the Ice Beam. So now I pay for over predicting by lo um, losing my Zapdos. Now I'm gonna go to Snowlox now. I think I set up. Uh, no, I might just go for Body. No, I Double Switch. <laughs> there we go. I trying to remember. I Double Switch into uh, Minshaw because you know I was like over predicting. But now I know he's going to go into Cabalion because he more likely has his rocks and he wants to get those up. Um, now I did over predict and maybe he predicts me to over predict this time again by um, not going for high jump kick. But I do go for high jump kick predicting him to stay in and I, I killed his uh, Cabalion. So no rocks for him for this game. That looks good on my part. Um, he is going to go into his Crobat after my, uh, on my men's shell and I'm going to go back into uh, my Gligar I believe I went into. And then I went into my Apollyon to take the U-turn. I'm not sure why I did that. That was kind of weird. So he goes into Flygon. Another Earthquake is coming. I'm going back into uh, Flygar. This thing. I'm playing really defensive right now. And I don't like this. <laughs> so I'm going to go for Toxic. Knowing that he's probably not going to go back into his Needle King. Because I could predict that and go for the Earthquake. So he goes into his Blast Tour. So I'm like, okay. This is my chance that I can get some spikes up with... Uh, Frostless, but he has Water Spout, and I'm like, oh my goodness. So I figured that I got the Curse Body off of Water Spout the first time, which is really lucky. So I figured that he was locked into that, so I was going to go Pain Split on whatever he switched into, but it turns out he is not choiced. Because um, he goes for Hydro Pump here and just kills me. I just die. So I'm going to my special wall, which is my Snorlax. Um, skillfully dodging the focus blast, I'm gonna go for curse, and then I'm gonna go for another curse because after this turn, uh, turn of toxic is gonna kill him. And I know I can take a focus blast from this pretty well. It's not fully uh, invested in special defense, but it has enough in HP to where I think I'd be satisfied after two curses. So, I um, mean, he does go for the focus blast and he gets the hit, but he is gonna die off the toxic. 
and he doesn't have Kabalyon, so I'm not really worried. Uh, bro, uh, Brobat. <laughs> I've been watching too much of him. Crobat is still uh, out there, but it's not really a threat after two curses. And I figured that, man, maybe Snorlax can get a sweep in. But yeah, that foul play does way too much. I do um, get a paralyzed with Body Slam. I'm like, yay! Oh, I forgot about Synchro. <laughs> I forgot about Synchro. So I'm hoping that um, he just go for Wish to get back into a better amount of health. But he just goes for the foul play because I went for Rest. And I knew I could take out. Uh, uh, some foul plays and wake up and do some damage and not be paralyzed. But um, I'm gonna go into Polion risking the paralysis and um, I do get it. So I'm like, okay, now I just kill this thing with a hydro pump. Except I miss. So I'm like, it's okay, it's okay. As long as he doesn't get the protect off, I can still kill him. And he gets the protect off, and I'm quite sad. I'm like, I'm so sad. I'm I'm ready to sweep, and um, I don't have my broom. So. Um, hydro, I just go for Hydro Pump anyway just to see what the damage is. Maybe, no, it's three hits. It's not It's not going to work. Uh, I could stay in and try to push my luck with the uh, Paralysis. And I tried to, and but I missed again. This guy is paralyzed. He is literally paralyzed on the same turn that I missed. Last time I checked, paralyzed means you can't move. So how did I miss the same turn he got paralyzed? I don't know how that works. So I go into Minchow. I know he's going to uh, protect because uh, just in case I want to go for a high jump kick, which I should have kind of risked because I do have regenerator. It's not that big a deal. Uh, but I know fire play is going to come because uh, I, I just don't want to take that hit. Even though, like I said, I have regenerator, so I don't know why I was really scared. Um, he go, he does go for toxic on my Glygar. I switched in to take the fire play. Blah blah blah. I do go for earthquake. It's not. It's doing less than hydro pump. So it's definitely unless he gets hexed impaired for like certain turns in a row I'm not gonna be able to take him out I do be him pretty low but he gets the wish off once again and even if he gets paralyzed he's gonna be able to live this earthquake so I'm just gonna switch out go back into Minshaw uh, he goes for the foul play it doesn't uh, it does a little bit it doesn't do that much I can recover that off with regenerator and I just wanted him to go into Crobat but he would not go into Crobat right here if he had if I knew he wasn't going to go for Protect, I would have gone for High Jump Kick, but it's hard to predict that. Um, after all this offensive pushing I'm trying to do, but failing, I just go into um, to Empoleon, because I'm like, you know, I, and I, we were ch chatting it up, and I was like, you know, this is not going anywhere. So I just decided to, let's just go. Let's just do it. I don't I don't really want this to drag out any longer, so I go into my Empoleon, just goes for the Agility, he gets paralyzed, I go for the Hydro Pump, he actually goes for Foul Play. Now, I think this was him being nice. If he really, really wanted to win, he could have stalled me out. And um, I would not have blamed him. But I was we were talking, like, this is a friendly battle. Um, I am going to be able to knock out his uh, Crobat, outspeed his Flygon. And uh, die, Flygon is the last thing I'm going to be able to kill before I die the Life Orb. And then it's uh, Nidoking King versus Minshaw. It's both our last Pokemon, so... I, wait, no, I still got Gligar. So it, it's basically the last Pokemon because if Minshaw can't stop Needle King, uh, Gligar definitely cannot. Can I outspeed? I don't know. I doubt it. I think he's timid. And then I'm impish. No, I'm not going to outspeed. So um, he does go for Ice Beam. I don't know why he went for Ice Beam. I feel like if he went for Earth Power, I would have died. So uh, I'm not sure. Maybe he locked himself into that. Uh, that could be it, actually. He could have been the Scarf, uh, not a King. Now that I'm thinking about it. And he locked himself in the Ice Beam because he wanted to hit both uh, Minshaw and Gligar. But anyway, it goes. I know it was a long battle. It was still pretty fun. Uh, thank you, NecroStevo. His, his link will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed um, the narration in the video of uh, the battle. And uh, I'll see you Saturday for... I don't know what's going to be Saturday. But I will see you again Saturday. So, peace. And... Have a good day. <laughs> Bye.